let's give a big welcome to Anna Broom, who has, uh, Anna's a wonderful poet, and she has a show here every month called the Anna Broom Room. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Lead back. Yeah. Okay, um, the first poem I'm going to read, it's a little poem I won something for. Thank God it happened eventually. It's called A Hauling of the Ever-Present. Between the sunlight and the diffused light, a man exits the cave where the light breaks at a 45-degree angle upon flowers and a drop, a drop where the idea of infinity bursts a man bent with load, looks over where you cannot lend. From the perspective, the fire inside deep a rind of man sits upright to see hieroglyphic shadow contrast made. The fact that no man is being watched, separated, limits a man's position. Is the lie of oppression where a man in such a kind of king blue hand, the fearful not far behind, around or inside, meet so dutifully disposed? Do their feet descend and rise outside the blue dark sepulcher, beside the light? Flowers are a guide. And the red flower tilts east as a man half a mile either way down confuses the bottom with the way of judgment from the perspective. The fire is what you do not see. Inside deeper rind of man sits upright to see hieroglyphics, shadow contrasts made. The beginning is such a simple place. Any man as a man would like to begin again, and yet that place is a place a man has never been. A man's fingers are his complaints. A stiff place from where to complain inside a terrace outside the flame. They would all be best to lose than stiffen. The split of the promontory landscape extends as a man leaves the traveler of him at the best of peaks. There is always a roadway, a hauling of the ever-present. Walled in by mountains, meaning an effervescent confinement as beautiful as gold handmade blue. And with freckles of light forged in forest where a man minds his mind, a circle of parts bind him to an exact place of a waterless wind. Where infinite sorrow, half-closed eyes, on the edge of man draws close, lowers hand over hand, lies in the knowing of climb down in a never planned form by man from the perspective. The fire is what you do not see. Inside deeper rind of man sits upright to see hieroglyphic shadows contrast made. From the first there was no need. For a man or any of them in the must formed, forming trust, not visible in the shadows, where a man dreams invisible dreams, the view spreads out blue, inward on a man and the men who could out of habit never see between the downtrodden, downtrodden seeds and the road. Thank you. Now let's have some fun. <laughs> I'm a bit like a Muppet. I'm a lot like a Muppet. I'm a Muppet. There's nothing left to defend by me. My teeth on edge, my feet street paved, inside and beyond every city and town, I now know there is nothing left to defend. Not the man without rest, not the boy on a ledge, not the eggs in a nest, not the birds in a, birds in a cage, not the east or the west, not the wall or the bridge, not the world on fire or consumed by rage, not childhood rags, not the runner who lags, not a newly sewn dress or father's Sunday best. My shoes untied, my mouth closed tight. Inside every heart, now I know, there is nothing to pretend, not the future or the present, not the end of tunnel light, not the struggle, not the fight, not the beginning, not the end, not the night, not the Lord, not here, not the went, not the earned to afford, not the word or the sword, not the saved or the hell bent. Living less than before, my head skin sore, my hands at my side, I now know there is nothing to transcend. 
The soul dead before the body gone, there is nothing to live on. No laughter, no song, no all day long, no right out of wrong, no old from young, not something out of anything, no doing or undoing, nothing left to forgive. Standing in a corner, strange and frightened. Maybe fear is the only thing left to lend. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm afraid and you're scared too, there might live one from a few. Maybe, just maybe, not the whole, but the one has something left to defend. The same one as before, not the same one as before, who turned glory from chore and from one made many, many more. But one into two, and two more at a time, and I into we could seek what hasn't been seen. A neck made of rubber, a soul cast from iron, a mind no commercial source can find. Not a new way from an old, not a greater sense of self or wise words sitting on a shelf. A tree from a leaf, a leaf will always be. So maybe, just maybe, there will be something to extend if humankind replaces Wealth with humanity, sanity with insanity, immortality with mortality, eternity with finality. The now will be the thing to defend, not, not start over, but to begin, to begin, to begin. Rockstar. Okay, because I want to make things a little more fun before they get a lot more serious, I'm going to read a poem called LSD. <laughs> I knew you would like it. LSD. Out of the blue 17 years ago, transcendental. A sense of initiation, a sudden conversion, intensely alive as never before. You can induce it after the fact. The more you do it, you can become the truth and achieve a state, rejuvenate life, a living presence in the clearest, surest of surest foundations of the world for the good of each and all, something omnipotent, too small to be too tall. That is it, the moment of truth. Among other things, impossible to describe, my mouth full of words and utterly beyond words in a wordless universe. Three of them, Make marked in a square, each feeling a oneness where within all to preserve one visionary figure seen, the elf on the shelf loses his health and his wealth emerges well again. Feeling a bliss, paradoxes of nature, numinous wonders, wondrous powerfulness, and splendor, pernicious beauty patterns, and apparent cause. Time, space, alterations, a major difference, till all at once, wrapped in flame-colored clouds, a living presence. Cosmic immortal zenith, good for each and all, a great mystery, harmony, ecstasy, everything knowing and known, without any warning at all. Itself seemed to dissolve, the more delicious, the more solitary, well springs of comprehension one touches with one's own hand. Last poem. We have to have a moment here. Do we know that the black rhinoceros is now extinct? I'm really overwhelmed by this. I, I have been very saddened. I'm, right now, I have something in my throat. Uh, because in our lifetime, we have seen something so beautiful become extinct. Uh, so I wrote something about it. It's called Extinction, or What It Is Like to Be Loved by a Texan. Department one, elect a new ambassador, mind your pots and pans, pay your million do dollar ransom. The black rhino is dead. Scream at a train, shoot with intent, back, double back into a corner. The black rhino is no longer. Say good night. Come, all good people, sing your morning song. The black rhinoceros is gone. Department two. People who are not extinct. The stupid, the wise, the brave, and the weak, the fierce, the skillfully commanded, but oh no, not the meek. The experts, the strict, the infant, and the reborn, the ill, and the disciplined, but no, not the prophet. 
The middle class with middle class health, the afflicted, the affected, the infected. Oh, no, but not those who live after death. We're nearly empty with each wrong extinction. Maybe on earth is the wrong place to belong. PSA. This is a PA, PSA interruption for the low, low price of 25 matchbooks a day. That is the same price as one cigarette. You can save the turtle from the turtle spoon. Turtle soup spoon. Department three. People who are for the advancement of humanitarians everywhere in the interest of humanitarian good and humanitarianism across the world, including but not limited to, humanitarian populated towns, cities, states, countries, continents, hemispheres, earth, and galaxies, stuff packed full abundantly of humanitarian efforts for the betterment of humanity. This does not, however, include, include the poached, the prodded, the farmed, the cultivated, the vaccinated, the inseminated, the fumigated, the hunted, the marinated, and digested. Humans will not invent humanity. PSA. The Surgeon General has released the following statement. In accordance with the AMA, CDC, and FBI, the good people are not good for your health, especially if you're, especially if you're not naturally two-legged, and even often if you are. Department 4. The black rhino who once fared so well in country with thick cover, grasslands, or open forest, free from the new natives called Texans. I close with Alfred Lord Tennyson. Forgive my grief, thy creature whom I found so fair. I trust he lives in thee and there. I find him worthier to be loved. Thank you.